A new machine can produce an order of books in six hours. An older machine can produce the same order of books in ten hours. How long would it take both machines working together to produce the order of the order of books? Let's call T represent let's let T represent the um, the time needed for both machines together to produce the order. Now, let's think about what would happen in one hour. So just for a moment, in one hour, the new machine would complete one-sixth of the job. Uh, uh, let's just say the order. The new machine can complete one-sixth of the order in one hour. All right, it takes six hours to complete the order, so it should have one-sixth done in one hour. The older machine would complete one tenth of the order. And together, they would complete one over T of the order. But we also know that if the new machine can complete one-sixth of the order in an hour and the old machine can complete one-tenth of the order in the hour then together we would have one-sixth plus one-tenth of the order together. So we can write the equation one-sixth plus one-tenth should be equivalent to one over t. And now we can solve this equation using the techniques we've learned so far. The LCD is 30t. So I'll multiply the entire left-hand side by 30t. And I'll multiply the right-hand side by 30t. So I would have 30t by 1 sixth plus 30t by 1 tenth is equal to 1 over t by 30t. Reducing some things out here, see between the 30 and the 6, that reduces to a 5. So I've got a 5t. Between the 30 and the 10, that reduces to a 3. So I've got plus 3t. And on the right-hand side, the t's reduce out, leaving a 30. 5t plus 3t, that's 8t. 8t equals 30. And 30 divided by 8 is 3.75. So working together, it should take 3.75 hours to produce the order.